In our bus example earlier, we've learned how to do some basic arithmetic operations, like using the plus sign to add two numbers together. For example, if we had this statement integer x equals 2 plus 3, that would do this calculation over here and would calculate 5 and then store 5 into our variable x. For subtraction, we'd use the minus sign, like for example integer y equals 4 minus 5. Integers can also store negative numbers, so this would actually store the negative 1 value inside y. You can even write negative numbers directly, like integer temp equals negative 20. This would store the value negative 20 into the variable temp. For multiplication, you can use this asterisk sign that's usually shift 8 on your keyboard. So this would multiply 7 by 4 and store the value 28 in the variable days. And to divide numbers, we use this forward slash sign, like this, double div equals 5 divided by 2, which would result into 2.5. However, even though we're storing the result in a double variable here, because we're dividing two integers 5 and 2, the result also would become an integer, throwing away that fractional part and only storing the value 2 into our variable div. But if you want to calculate the accurate division result, you have to make sure that at least one of those two numbers is a double itself. Like, for example, this, double accurate equals 5 divided by 2.0, which is the exact same value as this, except that 2.0 now forces this division to result in a double value and store that into our variable accurate. This would happen with any division that has only two integers in it, like 24 divided by 5, even though that would result in 4.8, it will just throw away that fractional part and only store the value 4 into the variable div2. Notice that it's not approximating it to the nearest integer, it's just throwing away that fractional part. So, if you want the actual division of 24 divided by 5, then just make sure that at least one of those two numbers is a double, like 5.0, and that would store the value 4.8 into our variable accurate2 here. We will talk a little bit more about this when we get to the casting very soon. All these operations can also be applied to variables themselves. Like if we had this setup for example, where x is equal to 2 plus 3, which evaluates to 5, and y is equal to 4 minus 5, which evaluates to negative 1. So x has the value 5 in it, and y has the value negative 1. Now we can actually multiply those two variables, x and y, and store the result in z. What this would do is it would multiply the values stored inside that two variables and put the result of that multiplication into the variable z, storing the value negative 5 into the variable z. We can even combine more and more arithmetic operations in the one statement. For example, if I wanted to calculate the amount of tip I should leave based on the amount that I've paid and the change I got back, I could just subtract change from the amount paid and multiply that entire result by 0.2, which is 20%. Notice how I've used this set of parentheses around the subtraction here before I do the multiplication. This is to force the computer to apply this subtraction before it does the multiplication over the result of that subtraction. So in this case, what would happen is paid minus change would calculate the value of 6.75 and then that result would get multiplied by 0.2 which would evaluate to 1.35 and that would get stored in the variable tip. So I know I have to pay $1.35 tip. But if I didn't have those set of parentheses, computers always prioritize multiplications and divisions over additions and subtractions. Which means once it sees a statement like this, it would perform that multiplication part before it performs a subtraction, calculating the value of 0.65 and then subtracting that from 10, giving the result of 9.35. That is a big tip. So remember to always use those set of parentheses when you want your arithmetic operations to perform in a certain order because computers always try to perform multiplications and divisions before it tries to do any additions or subtractions. So, if in doubt, always surround your operations with parentheses.